Hey guys, everyone here. I'm uh, going to be playing Day of the Tentacle Remastered today. Uh, no, I don't know where coming from. <laughs> I don't think you should drink that. No, you shouldn't. It looks bad for you. It is. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I mean. feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> like I could. Oh, grow arms. Take, Take on, on the world. Called it. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. <laughs> Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like, we could bite its head off, or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. <laughs> Weird Ed. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's uh. going to kill them both. <laughs> I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. <laughs> but now, I know that I must go... back... to the mansion! <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Quick, everyone get in the car. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. 
This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? It's stuck to the floor. It's stuck to the floor. It's stuck to the floor. A horticultural horror. I can't touch it, it's spiny. It's permanently attached to the countertop. Mmm, spearmint, my favorite. Quick, take the money from the phone. Out of order. Okay. Uh... Hmm, there's something funny about that. Aha! A secret passage. Yes. This is all too easy. Hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, upstairs. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? <laughs> oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Oh. Until one of them tried to take over the world and to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. <laughs> Did you say Bernard? Yes. Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. And fail. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Uh, lots? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now, Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops! Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! Through the time machine! This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogen! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive! Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not! This is the first time I've ever tried it on people! <laughs> Well, I'll be! Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. <laughs> this must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. <laughs> what could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Die! <laughs> Die! We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After <laughs> all, he is a doctor. Another doctor it wins. works! I can't believe it! <laughs> and they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough! 
Oops. Uh oh. <laughs> Order jewels? What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Yeah. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and plug them in. Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Okay. I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. Upstairs. Hamster generator. It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. Dr. Fred? Oh, we just saw him going upstairs. The plans! Oh. The plans! It's pretty darn cold. <clears throat> My grandma gave me one like this for my birthday. I can't pick it up. That guy is lying on it. Well, you say guy, I say gorilla. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. <coughs> beef squigglies? It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <laughs> hmm. 
I can't even do this right. Aww. It doesn't seem to open. You haven't seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? Super battery? Eh, that sounds even worse than the things I come up with. Maybe I can help cheer you up? Oh, I can hardly wait. Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? <laughs> I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. Nobody liked it. Ugh. No shit. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Aww. Would you say that existence constitutes purpose? Oh, who cares? Philosophers are all failures like me who couldn't make it in a real profession. Uh, okay, I'm just Never mind. Style Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? You haven't seen Dr. Fred's plans for a super, super battery, battery around, have you? No, just these world domination plans of Purple's. Any of Fred's plans would probably be in his office or the lab. Want to help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. Aww. How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great. We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Really? Which quality is that? Volume, man! Volume! <laughs> we have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. We can generate a lot more sound that way. Have you gotten any airplay? Yeah, no, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations. Oh, okay. But we have a huge following in the club scene. <clears throat> Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. That's great. Yeah. How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. But getting back out of it is hard. So just like a new person. See you later. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Hoagie would really love these. Mmm, plenty of wattage in this stereo. I can't wait to try my 8-tracks in it. Wow, this is loud! It's pushed in. Whew. There's no label, it's probably blank. Mine? No, oh, not cow tipping. Now, where did Dr. Fred go? Hey, aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, 
I'm Bernard Benuli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope. Doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. So what are you up to these days? Don't worry about me. I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. No. I mean, uh, <coughs> no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like... Ding! Oh God, I hear it in my dreams till this day. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. Upstairs again. How, how, how tall is this house? Uh, open. There doesn't seem to be anything dangerous in there. It's not exactly the Ritz. I wouldn't want to strain myself. So of course you wouldn't. <sighs> Green says the plans are probably in the office, so let's go to the office. Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. It's closed. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Star Wars? <laughs> Always make sure they get your good side. Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. <laughs> it won't go any further. I don't know the combination. I can't push it in any farther. Okay. Well... Boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention. I tell you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time. Has anyone ever told you you look like Don Corleone? That's strange. My wife says I look like Charles Lawton. So, oh, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havanan babies on me. <laughs> oh, 
thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? No. Well, you were right! <laughs> you shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit! That cracks me up every time! No use in doing that, it's empty. No use in doing that, it's empty. No use in doing that, it's empty. Okay. I can't get hold of it. <coughs> Just calm down for a second. Jumpy little sucker. Hold still, will ya? I'd rather not. Jumpy little sucker. here for now. Uh, not sure if I'll do any more of this. It's kind of dated. Anyway, well, if you if you did, if you did like, please like and subscribe. I'm Rewind, and I'll see you next time.